Hello everyone and welcome back to Triangle Strategy. In the last session we fought through the mines utilizing minecarts and just, uh, what's the word? Diffusing, diffusing, that's the word. Diffusing bombs along the way. And uh, now we are at a crossroads because we have found the salt in the mines. We know that's going to change the balance of power in the, in the land and uh, we've got to decide what to do it. But before we decide that, we have a lot of other things to have a look at here. Lots of main stories. The first time we've ever had three different main things to look at. And uh, in addition to that, we have some character stories too. So let's start off with... Uh, let's start off with Frederica, shall we? Frederica decides to cook a meal for Serenoa, but even the best laid plans can go awry. Bum, 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 bum. Do you have a moment, Gila? Oh, Frederica, is something the matter? Wait, is it Gila? Well, I've been saying Gila. I invited Saranoa to have dinner with me tonight. I thought, have I really been saying that wrong the whole That's time? That's wonderful. Are you cooking for him? I am. I've been practicing with the book you gave me. I was hoping to finally show him what I've learned. Then allow me to help. What are you making? Uh. <laughs> a warm soup full of meatballs. A hearty, meaty, savory stew to tickle the tongue and sate the stomach. Or so the book describes it. That doesn't sound that hard. That sounds like quite a mouthful, in more ways than one. The author is rather verbose, yes. Anyhow, I also want to make an appetizer. Might you be able to lend a hand? Cooking is hardly my specialty, but say no more. I'd love to. Explosion noise. <laughs> oh dear. This is disappointing, to say the least. And we're almost out of time. Saranoa will be back any minute now. Excuse me, Lady Frederica. <laughs> the music just cut. Lord Saranoa has just sent word that he has been held up at a meeting. Oh, they've got time. He says there is a chance he may not even return tonight. I see. Thank you for letting me know. It sounds like your dinner may get postponed. Yeah, that's a, a shame. blessing in disguise. But he's not even going to be home at all. It time to cook this again and do it right this time. Lord Serenoa may not even return tonight. But there is a chance he might. And I refuse to disappoint him. Would you help me, Gila? Of course, Frederica. I shall do my very best to see this through with you. I cannot thank you enough. Aw, we love Frederica. The vegetables are done, though they are a far cry from perfect. The meatballs are ready too. Far cry now six. all we have to do is stew them. Hey, Federica, I'm back. Oh, welcome back. It appears we've run out of time. I was on my way here when something urgent came to my attention. I apologize for returning so late. I know we were supposed to have dinner tonight. I am just happy you're here. Besides, I am the one who should apologize. I wanted to cook you a meal, but failed terribly on my first attempt, so it isn't yet ready. I'm sorry, Saranoa. Don't dot 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 her, man. So down, Frederica. <laughs> Give her the it's I okay, was don't worry, I'll help. Ask me to share a meal. Now that I'm back, why don't I help you with yeah, the food? Yeah, that's more like it. Saranoa. Thank you again for inviting me. I'm overjoyed we could spend this time together. As am I. I enjoyed cooking with you as well. The time we spend together is very precious to me. 
I regret that my duties have been keeping us apart lately. But when I noticed the sky was even more beautiful than ever this night, A different hurried home, camera, camera shot, we could perspective. Gaze upon its beauty together. That's very nice. It's strange. When I was in S Frost, I would look up at the same sky, but it felt so much colder there. The stars seemed as if frozen. They did not twinkle the way they do now that I am with you, Saranoa. Frederica, <sighs> promise me that you will always stay by my side. I need you. Now more than ever. Aww. Of course, Saranoa. I wish to gaze up at the same sky, sit beneath the same moon, and walk the same path you do. Together. Forever and always. Aww. I really like that they have, like, progressed their relationship. I was, I was wondering if they were actually going to really deal with that, or whether it would just be like, yeah, you two are definitely getting married. Yeah, and then they would just sort of not really touch on the whole relationship aspect, but they have actually progressed it. And they are like a proper couple that really are, do seemingly love each other. I don't think they've said the big L word yet, but seems that way from, from what I can tell. And I like it, it's nice. Right, so off to central Esfrost. The changing of the time spares no one, not even the Norzalia Consortium. Bum, 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 bum. Have you heard the popular rumor, Lord Claris? That Hyzant intends to raise an army against Glenbrook? Yes, I am familiar. Wait, what? So it's reached the Consortium then. Well, Is I haven't true? heard this fucking rumor. King Roland has only just reclaimed the Crown City with Hyzant's help. Not to mention restored relations with them. Ordinarily, such a thing would be unthinkable, but the rumors are so persistent that I think something may be afoot. For example? I wouldn't be so restless if I had an example to give. Esfrost gathers its troops at Twinsgate. Might they have heard the rumors as well? Perhaps. A battle for the very soul of Norzelia may loom on the horizon. But therein lies the opportunity for merchants like us. You can't wage war without a surfeit of supplies. You're quite right about that. And each shift in Norzelia's power balance opens new business opportunities. Will the Consortium continue trading with Hyzant? Tis difficult to say. I believe House Wolfort's actions from here on will be key to the Consortium's decision. Uh-oh. House Wolfort, you say? Uh-oh. Indeed. They've been involved in most every conflict between the three nations on this continent. Why stop now? I shall wait and see how Lord Serenoa responds first, lest I make any hasty decisions. Uh-oh. They're basing their movements off what we choose in the upcoming Scales of Conviction. Oh, God. Bum, 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 fiddly um. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, well, uh, let's move over to here then. Are they actually raising an army? Sounds like it from that rumor. Word of the salt crystals within the Grand Norzalian Mines reaches the Hierophant's Palace. Bomb. Bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Ah, Milo has sent a dispatch from Glenbrook. It says, oh my fucking god, what? <laughs> Deep within the Grand Rosalian Mines lies... Hmm. It would seem salt crystals were found within. Impossible! The discovery of salt outside the source explains Gustadolf's recent... provocations. How can you be so calm? The teachings tell us that salt is a blessing bestowed only upon the goddess's followers. The discovery of these salt crystals is an existential threat to Hyzant. Salt crystals are salt too. 
We need only keep word of this discovery from spreading. Of course. But how? The Hierophant has spoken. Minister Exham, you shall raise an army and seize the Grand Nozellian Mines in Hyzant's name. Is there even anyone fucking in there, or does Idor just, like, say whatever the fuck he likes? Is he really in charge? Because he's the only one that actually speaks to the Hierophant, right? The Hierophant asks us to invade Glenbrook? Do you have another way to silence King Roland and his royal hounds in House Wolfort? Minister Serenoa is one of us, and thus is honor bound to heed the Hierophant. Hierophant can suckle on my balls, mate. But we know not if he will do so, or if he will cast his lot with his precious king. You shall ask him yourself I when you surround Castle Woolfort en route to the mine. Twenty years of friendship resists, overalls like a few days of being with you guys. You are free to deal with him. As we do with I don't know how old Zona is, but I'm guessing like 20. <laughs> Rum tum tum tilly yum. Tum 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 tum. Tum tilly yum tum tum. Okay, let's hit up another side story then. Anna searches for answers about her parents, and Eridor seems to know more than he lets on. <laughs> Tiddly um tum tum tiddly um tum. Under this tree. This here's the land of the Jacks clan. Or used to be more like. That clasp on your chest, that's their sigil, if I'm not mistaken. It's a memento from my parents. Or so I was told. Aye, now that I'm looking for it... Is that Benedict's voice actor members. again? <laughs> Same silvery hair and everything. It sounds like Benedict. Villages near here met with a pretty terrible fate. They begged the armies to spare their fields. The only one who listened was one of House Wolfort's bannermen. No one was surprised, big war hero that he was. But by the time we got here, the Jacks had been all but exterminated. Exterminate. He was digging graves for the dead, enemy and all. A hero and a gentleman he was. Names on the tip of my tongue. Benedict. Aye, that was it. Do you know the man? I'd like you to pass on my gratitude, if you do. Thanks for showing me the way. Do you Your know the way? Your all the thanks I require. If that's all you'll be needing me for, I'll leave you to it. That really sounded like Benedict's voice actor trying to do a slightly gruffer voice. <laughs> You make a poor stalker. Ain't exactly what I'm built for. You fought in the battle here, didn't you? Benedict swore me to secrecy. But suppose it ain't break an oath if you already know. Oh, but first I ought to tell you. You've the right to the truth. And those ain't my words. They're his. That's why he never tried to stop you from finding out about your parents. You know of their fate? We drove the enemy up the clifftop. Cornered him there. The same instant we cut their leader down, a babe cried out in the distance. In the hideout, we found you, all swaddled up. A letter pinned to you with that same clasp on your chest. Live strong, Anna. Stronger than any. I see now. Your family died at our hands. If it's vengeance you want, 
You can take it out on me. Yeah, how about no? It doesn't sound <laughs> like the Eridor I know. Do you think so little of me? To assume I would forsake my friend. Bloody my hands with revenge. I know the truth at last. That is enough. Is it, Anna? Or are you forcing it to be? Don't be a fool. Benedict is the one who raised me. If I ever want for a father, I know where to find him. Aww. When we've won this war, I shall make sure he understands that. Man, these last two ones have been really good. Most, a lot of the character stories have been like, eh, you know, they're all right. But like, these last two ones have been great. Okay, on to the Twins Gate. Gustadolf gathers his troops at Twins Gate and rallies them by revealing that the Grand Norzalian Mines and Salt Crystals have been taken from Esfrost. I love this music, the Very epic sounding. I am gladdened to see each and every one of you, my ironclad brothers in arms, here at Twinsgate. I have asked you here to tell you of a most fortuitous discovery. We have found crystals of salt deep in the Grand Norcellian mines. Alas, Glenbrook has taken those very mines from us. What's worse, Glenbrook's esteemed House Wolfort is led by one of the saintly seven of Hyzant. They will no doubt be informed of the salt crystals, and their precious religion will be shaken to its core. I trust you can all imagine how Hyzant will respond to such an affront. They will not go quietly, but will instead seek the crystals for themselves, that their reign of terror may continue unimpeded. Therefore, we must subdue Glenbrook and seize the mines for Esfrost if we are to counter this grave threat. But we cannot stop there, for that will only draw Hyzant to our gates. They will stop at nothing to conquer all of Norzelia in their name. You mean the, the thing that you were just has trying to do? <laughs> never been in a more precarious position. Yeah, because you just got all your but family we killed. Will not yield. Your prime minister. We and... subscribe to no faith, and we bend the knee for no king. You've really fucked it, mate. We shall greet our enemies at Twinsgate with cold, hard steel. Our newest weapon, the Death Snell, is nearly complete. With it. We shall strike back at Hyzant. The false goddess shall crumble beneath the sheer force of our iron will, and Hyzant reduced to rubble along with her. Raise your swords, my black iron heroes. Your names shall be cast in iron when the histories of this day are written. You shall be known as the defenders of Esfrost! <laughs> Man makes a good speech. For Esfrost! He does make a good speech. Oh yes. The death snare will reduce many a falsehood to rubble, dear Gustadolf. Oh! Oh! We've got a we've got a snake in the grass. He's gonna fuck him over. Hyzant has learned of the salt crystals. Minister Exham of the Saintly Seven wastes no time in mustering his army, which now marches on the Grand Nozel. <laughs> the army was like, for fuck's sake, we were just there and we were helping them. And now you're telling us to go all the way back and fuck them? Elsewhere, Gustadolf amasses his own forces at Twinsgate in anticipation of the war to come. All eyes are on Glenbrook, where Roland and Serenoa's pronouncement could touch off a battle for the soul of Norzelia. Ah, shit. <laughs> After much deliberation, 
Roland makes his way to Castle Wolfford to inform Saranoa of the decision that now weighs heavy on his heart. Oh shit. Any side quests? Nope. Okay. Roland visits Wolfort and tells Saranoa of his decision. I mean, I assume it's going to scales of conviction us, but if Roland's already made his decision, then I guess we're not really going to have any choice because we're going to choose to support Roland, right? Like, I guess let's see where it goes. Like, I'm not going to side with Hyzant and I'm not going to side with Esfrost because they're both a bunch of dickheads. <laughs> Run by a bunch of dickheads, I should say. I appreciate you coming all this way, Roland. I was the one who asked for your time. So it is only natural I make the journey. I wish to tell you that I finally made up my mind. And I would hear your decision if you were willing to share it with me. I've long pondered over the one thing that Norzelia needs most. I thought back on the Salt Iron War. Thirty years have passed, yet the root of our conflict remains the same. Each nation still thinks only of itself, wishing to fill its coffers even at the expense of others. But who bears the brunt of such a war? The people. Exactly so. The avarice of the ruler is an existential threat to their loyal subjects. And yet without that wealth, the people suffer just as much. They languish in poverty. This much is obvious, but there can be no winner without a loser. Remove one and you necessarily remove the other. If we achieve equality, we achieve peace. Then how do you propose we achieve? No. No, surely you don't mean. Yes, the goddess's teachings. What? All can live as equals under the goddess. What? An authority greater than any king. The model nation was in front of us all along, Sarah Noah. The holy state of Hyzant. Nah, I don't like where this is going. I decided that we must give the salt crystals and the Grand Norzellian mines to Hyzant. Are you fucking stupid? And in so doing, you'll give them control of all Norzellia. Exactly. There will be no more squabbling over salt. Norzellia will know eternal peace at last. That's not how that works, you dumb peace, motherfucker. Surely. One built on the backs of a people like the Roselle, if not the Roselle themselves. I am not blind to that fact. But so few will suffer for the good of so many. Oh, no. Nothing in this world is perfect, Saranoa. The sacrifice of the few for the good of the many. It's the only clear answer. And one I would give every time I were asked. Oh, no. Submitting well, we can't the support him. Will rob you of your kingship. So be it. My crown. My pride. There are but small prices to pay for peace. Oh, fuck, man. This is terrible. You are truly prepared to throw it all away. This is terrible. Join me, Saranoa. No. Let us unite Norzelia under the holy state. Roland, this is quite sudden. I understand. Pray, take all the time you need. Fuck. I can't believe he'd do something so dumb. I expect Frederica will want nothing to do with this plan, seeing as it forsakes her people. I am already mourning the rift this may cause between you, but I shall not be swayed. This will be my final act as Glenbrook's king. Holy shit, that is the dumbest thing he's ever said. I, I thought he was better than this. I am upset. I really liked Roland, but this is dumb as fuck. King Roland's anguish plays plainly across his face. It pains me to see him so tortured. I'm not surprised. The future of our kingdom, to say nothing of the entire continent, rests upon his shoulders. Pray tell, what do you intend to do about the salt crystals? In truth, I cannot decide. Salt is too precious to be hoarded. We have a duty to share it with the people, which is... Where the difficulty lies, yes. The source makes that all too clear. Salt lies at the heart of every war in Norzelia. 
would that the boundless salted sea of Rosellan legend still existed. We'd have no need of conflict if there were a source of salt for all. My love, if I may, the discovery hey, she of said love. crystals has made two things plain to me. The first is that my mother spoke true in the legend she passed on to me. And the other is that the goddess's teachings are nothing more than a lie built to constrain your people. Just so, we are guilty of nothing. Yet the Roselle languish in the source where they are looked down upon and forced to work until they die. Entire generations lost, countless lives given to Hyzant's cruelty. I can't believe Roland would be like, yeah, the Roselle are innocent, but fuck them. I, I actually cannot believe. I feel like that goes against everything we know about his character. That he would actually be like, yeah, I'm just going to sacrifice the Roselle. Cruelty created to justify Hyzant's own avarice and lust for power. Such is the ugly lie at the heart of their teachings. One revealed by a crystal of the mineral they hold so dear. The time has come, Serenoa. The Rizal must be freed. The salt crystals have brought us to the brink of war. We can harness this unrest, incite the Rizal to rise up and rebel against their captors. I am with you. Believe me, I am. But you make it sound so... Simple. Yes, I know. But the suffering of my people is so distant for everyone else. We can no longer wait for someone to do the right thing. Help isn't coming. Why else would my own mother incite rebellion? We are alone. I swear to you, none of this feels distant to me. The Roselle live in my domain. I am betrothed to you, my dear. It couldn't feel any closer. And I thank the stars that I have you by my side. I do. In truth, that's why I think this time will be different. Why I'll be able to accomplish what my mother could not. Hmm. I agree. But the risk is immense. Suppose we succeed, what then? Aizant will not let us go quietly. Of course not. And when that time comes, you can lead the Roselle to Centralia. Just as your mother wrote about in the book she left behind. Beyond the Great Falls in the Falk's Domain at the end of the Norzelia River. The ancestral home of the Roselle. But that's... That's just a legend. We've already found one legend to be rooted in truth. Perhaps this one is as well. And if not, at least you'll be safe from harm. <laughs> I doubt Benedict will share our feelings, though. Abandoning all we've built to embark on a journey fraught with danger in search of a legend. Yet no matter how perilous the path ahead, I would happily walk it at your side. Man. That might be the best option we have, really. We can free the Roselle and then just fucking wash our hands of it all, maybe. I trust you understand what a monumental effect the discovery of these salt crystals will have on Norzelia's history. Yeah, no shit, dude. Whatever course of action we choose will determine whether House Wolfort leaves a legacy in that history or is expunged from it. How would you proceed, Benedict? I would do all I could to keep it from falling into Hyzant's hands. They already control the source. With the crystals in hand, they will solidify their grip on the realm and in time dominate it. Yeah, we can't allow the that to happen. The siren song of a false equality under their goddess shall blanket the land, claiming every domain and its people. Even though they count me among the saintly seven. Even then, for that matters little when the equality they espouse is dictated by the goddess, or should I say, the Hierophant. In the end, they will have the same life and death control over all Norzelia that they now hold over the Roselle. And our wounds from the battle with Esfrost have only begun to heal. 
Hyzant will destroy us if we wage war against them in our current state. So we'd have to team up with Esfrost? But they stand little chance against us if we ally with Esfrost. Uh. Ally with Esfrost? Are you of sound mind, Benedict? <laughs> Quite. Think about it for a moment. Esfrost wants nothing more than to loosen Hyzant's grip. They will go to war if it means control of the salt crystals. They will also immediately betray us, though. Our interests are broadly aligned, yes, but... Esfrost has been building toward precisely that purpose for some time now. You speak of the Death Knell, the weapon that Cordelia mentioned. Precisely. A weapon capable of reducing the goddess's shield to rubble, leaving Hyzant's capital ripe for the taking. Without that weapon, we cannot win. You need only say the word, and I shall convince Esfrost to join our side. I appreciate your candor, Benedict, and I do not doubt you could secure Esfrost's cooperation. But I fear the harder fight is within our own domain. King Roland's heart will not be easily won. I bid you listen closely and calmly to what I'm about to ask. Oh, fuck. He's going to say that we should overthrow Roland because we are also King Regna's son and we should become the new ruler? Is that what he's about to say? Oh, shit. From whence this somber tone? Do you believe King Roland is fit to rule? What are you implying? Decorum is of little use when the fate of our realm is at stake, Lord Serenoa. Are you content to spend the rest of your life in servitude to another? Not another word, Benedict. Roland is more than my king. He is my friend. And you are Lord of House Wolfort, whose military prowess is known to all Norzelia. Not the guard dog of Glenbrook and Hyzant. What else are you here to do, if not to protect your house and keep its banner aloft? <sighs> but you have the potential for so much more. All Norzelia could be yours if you but desired it. Treason, if not outright regicide. These are your suggestions. Of course not. The blood in your veins and the royal family's ring are claim enough to the throne. There is no need for violence. I told you not to speak of that again. But you did not tell me to forget. The time to reckon with your lineage draws near. You must make a... I've heard enough. Leave me. Just know that I will do anything you ask of me, Lord Serenoa. I pray that you make the right choice. Not only for House Wolfort, but for yourself. Holy shit, man. <laughs> that might also be a good choice, because if we do take control of Norzalia, then we can free the Roselle as ruler. And then we also wouldn't be ditching everyone else. Because, like... Oh, like, I'm very much in favor of Frederica's plan to free the Roselle. I can't believe... I can't believe... I was like... I was like, well, we're obviously going to support Roland. And then he comes out with that shit. And now I'm, like, obviously not going to support Roland. I can't believe Roland's plan, the one that I assumed that I would be in favor of, is actually the complete shit plan. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So, like, Frederica's plan, we storm in here, we free the Roselle, and then we leave. We just wash our hands of all Norzalia and head south down this river to the ancestral home of the Roselle, and we just let whatever's gonna happen, happen up here, and we're... Like, we have nothing to do with it. That's the plan. And, like, obviously, we want to free the Roselle. Absolutely. I am fully on board with that. I'm not so sure that I agree with just ditching our kingdom, though. Because that's like we'd be ditching a whole lot of subjects and everyone that, like, looks up to us and everything. And then we'd be leaving them to the ravages of war, which is maybe not the best. But if we support Benedict, then we're betraying Roland. Hardcore. Hardcore betraying Roland. And it may not even work, but like, maybe it would. And if it does work, then we can free the Roselle as ruler. Oh man. Oh man, this is a toughie. 
Once again, House Walthort stands before three diverging paths. The time has come to lay their convictions bare before the scales and make their greatest decision yet. Oh god. The story is approaching a turning point. It is recommended that you save your current progress. Proceed to save screen. Yes. Oh man. Oh man, this is the big decision, huh? This is the big one. You are certain Hyzant's army marches for the Grand Norzellian mines? There is no doubt. They've heard word of the crystals. It was only a matter of time. We knew this. S. Frost's army gathers at Twinsgate as well. War's breaking out over this thing, and we've got to be ready. How will Glenbrook respond, King Roland? There's no need to prepare for war. I have decided that we will surrender the salt crystals to the holy state of Hyzant. <laughs> Everyone, what the fuck? Furthermore, I hereby declare that the kingdom of Glenbrook and its people shall submit to the goddess and her teachings. There is no way to bring happiness to all Norzelia with the salt crystals. Which is why I have chosen a path that will allow the greatest number of people to live in equality and harmony. How could you? Do you not see that Hyzant's dominion over Norzelia's salt is why we are in conflict already? Is the suffering of the Rizal not proof enough that the goddess's vaunted equality is a lie? She speaks the truth, my king. Handing over the salt crystals is tantamount to giving Hyzant's goddess free reign of Norzelia. Will you so readily surrender the realm to the Hierophant? I acknowledge the abdication of my kingdom and kingship alike. A small price to pay in my eyes. In exchange for the security and prosperity of the many. And the sacrifice of the Rizal. Is that a small price to you? It is. Fuck me! How could you say such a thing to my face? I for one oppose. I would prefer to ally with Esfrost and strike back at Hyzant. The salt deposits within the mines give us the leverage we need to convince Gustadolf to join us. Ally with Esfrost? You dare suggest we ally with the man who murdered my father? I see no reason why we should not. You proposed abdicating the throne for the sake of the kingdom and its people. So you should have no trouble putting aside your own feelings and judging this matter dispassionately. God, I cannot believe my own ears. <laughs> I will not have you lecture me on feelings when it is not your father he murdered. None of you can see beyond your own grievances. It's no wonder my people have suffered for generations. We're told to believe in the goddess, while our own lives are thrown away to make a few more grains of your precious salt. And now, even with proof that the goddess is a lie, you would watch us dig our own graves for your comfort. Lady Frederica, please. We shall speak of the Roselle in due time. No, I've heard that before. Your due time is never, and I will not have you cast us aside for another three decades or more. All else is in disarray. If Hyzant seizes the Salt Crystals, we forfeit the best opportunity in decades to free my people. We know the truth. We must act upon it. We must be a light in the darkness. We cannot afford to dilute our forces when the enemy marches on us as we speak. So we are a distraction to you? I am merely being rational. Liberating the Roselle would be extremely dangerous. We cannot take such a risk. God damn, this is the best cutscene in the game. <laughs> this is great. I love seeing everyone come to blows like this. Suppose we succeed. How do you propose we fend off the fury Hyzant will rain down upon us? Esfrost would pounce on us, sensing weakness at the undue burden we've taken upon ourselves. Precisely. We would be without allies, 
and ripe for the taking. There is another way. And what, pray tell, would that be? We set out alongside the Roselle in search of Centralia. Centralia is a myth. The legends of my people are true. I care not one whit if they are. <laughs> I will hear no talk of forsaking the Wolfort domain. Silence! I've I care not to know one whit that. if they are. <laughs> Do you all hold the courage of your own convictions? I do. Nothing I've heard here has swayed me. I feel the same. Very well. But know that a choice must be made. There can only be one way forward. Face the scales of conviction and prepare to make peace with the outcome. I mean, is Roland really just going to accept the fucking decision of the scales? I feel like no. I feel like he will not accept the decision because he is the king and regardless of what the fucking what what the fucking few of us here vote on, he can just make his announcement as king. Like The vote we take today may well open a rift between us. Nevertheless, it must proceed, and I am prepared to accept its outcome. Fuck man. Everyone undecided apart from the three. Wow, okay. This is such a hard one. Obviously, we're not standing with Roland, but between Frederica and Benedict, that is the tough call. 